Okay, welcome to the Let's Enjoy Piano Self-Expression Method. A method develop, to develop your self-expressive skills. If you don't have the book, go to the website and pick up a copy, letsenjoypiano.com. If you have the book, we can, uh, we're going to focus on accompaniment today. We've done improvising, done a lot of uh, jamming and some composing, but accompaniment styles would be focused, if you have the book, on page 23b, 22 and 23 for different patterns, uh, 39 and 40 for different rhythms, uh, different options of what fits into a basic uh, meter. If you have a 2-4 versus a 4-4 four, four, or a 3-4. But you want to establish a backbeat. And many songs that have already established a backbeat that, that are... Um, uh, a nice chord flow that becomes the song is, let's say, example of like Color My World. It's a nice steady backbeat or... Nice steady backbeat or... You know that one. Um, the Beatles did, did many, many great uh, ostinatos or... Uh, hooks that as soon as you hear that first couple of chords you know the song so we're going to look at a number of songs today uh, one being Todd Rundgren's uh, Hello It's Me which is a nice steady straight 8 backbeat quarter notes in the bass and then the right hand steady, steady straight 8's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and it's laid out, it's a G minor 7 chord, laid out in, with a B flat as the plurality. And it comes off the piano real nice, goes into F major 7. Goes into E flat major 7 with G minor. D minor 7 with F, uh, D minor 7 with F major on the top. C minor 7 with E flat, B flat major 9 with uh, D minor 7, A flat major 9 with C minor 7, and back to B flat major 7. And then a B flat 13, which is A flat major 7 on the right hand, into G minor with B flat in the bass. So you can look at it as a B flat 6 or G minor 7 with a B-flat bass. So you just have the chord, write those chords down in front of you, and just practice a nice steady backbeat. G minor 7, F major 7, back to G minor 7, F major 7, E-flat major 7, D minor 7, C minor 7, B flat major 9, A flat major 9, B flat major 7, and then B flat 13 into the G minor 7. So if you practice things getting a nice musical foundation and just get your rhythm better and that's what you'll be doing under a band under a singer under a instrumentalist flowing the chord switching gears to let's say a, a bossa nova a girl from Ipanema it's got a dotted quarter eighth rhythm one and two and three four one and two and three four also 57 and 58 deal with, uh, in the book, deal with the dotted quarter eighth bossa nova sound, accompaniment styles. That sound is your bossa nova. But it's a continually establishing a musical backbeat, and then you can improvise from there. So this is kind of a, uh, a dotted quarter eighth, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two. And you're accenting one, two, and three, four. So 
you can almost, I approach every song from a chord flow uh, perspective first before I worry about uh, soloing in the melody because the chord flow and the positioning lays and maps out your fingers and then you can flip the, the uh, plurality around uh, if you need to uh, play a different style or you want a different melody note under the melody and sometimes when a singer is singing here's the melody note let's say sometimes the um, the pianist d doesn't want to jump on them and and play the same notes and step on their toes so you'll play underneath, you just play the uh, F major 7. And the G7, and the G minor, G flat. And so they can sing up here. And all you'll be doing is... even fuller sense, I incorporate the melody note, but without stressing the melody note, so you have a fuller sound. So there's a couple examples of chord flow connection technique, and I'm going to do a few others, but that's enough to uh, for you to work on now. Straight eighths and then dotted quarter eighth. And those pages that I looked at. If you want some online lessons, look me up. There's information on the website, letsenjoypiano.com. But you're going to have a lot of fun with the accompaniment and background, setting the backbeats. If you have any questions, email me at email at letsenjoypiano.com. And uh, hopefully we can connect and... Uh, have some, if you have any uh, suggestions on future videos, um, let me know. Okay, thank you very much, and enjoy.